Today I will be turning a whole bunch of chanterelles, mostly the small ones at the button stage. If you don't have chanterelles, use the store-bought buttons. Into really, really good marinated chanterelle pickles. They are shelf stable. This is a water bath, so it can be done by anyone. You don't need a pressure cooker for this. They turn out really good and really delicious. This is a USDA approved recipe, so worry not, I didn't make this up. They are so good. This is a mixture of vinegar and oil and herbs and spices and um, onion and garlic. It's delicious. Let's make them. The little chanterelle buttons are all cleaned. What I do is I cut the stem off so it's not sticking out too much. It's kind of flat. Then we make nice pieces. These are the stems. I'm not discarding them. Um, we make a duck salad out of this so they gonna get sauteed down with onion and garlic and some butter and then I mush them and that way I can use the I can freeze it and I can use that mushed up mushroom stem mixture and use it for stuffing for uh, cannelloni or for dumplings or anything like that. Time to assemble all these pieces. The first thing is that they have to cook in a mix between lemon juice, of course the recipe is below, and water. And they are supposed to boil there for five minutes. Now see this pot? basically full with mushrooms but this is going to change dramatically once they start boiling because they go down to nothing so this is good there's a little lactarius indigo if it keeps the color it'd be so cute in the jar this is going to be the brine pot the pickle thing um, it calls for all the spices and the salt in the recipe. I also added some mustard seeds, a little bit of red pepper flakes, and thyme. I don't know why the recipe doesn't contain thyme. I think thyme and mushrooms are awesome. And this gets vinegar. Well, that's the oil first. You can use olive oil or any oil of your choice. And then it gets vinegar. Um, when you use the oil, Mark down on your jar when that oil naturally expires and that's when your mushrooms expire is my best guess because you don't want the oil getting rancid. It can still get rancid. And then these things, the peppercorns, some onion, garlic, and they call for pimento peppers. I don't have so this is a, a hot red pepper. I'll, I'll put them directly in the jar once the jars are ready. This goes on the stove. And I'll just heat this up gently while the other stuff is going. They're at the simmer now, and see, it still looks like they're all the way to the pot, but uh uh, there's barely anything left now. It's a shame, considering how many times one has to bend down to pick them. But it'll still fill these glasses and it'll still be good. I'm going to set the time now for five minutes to keep them at this simmer. And then we assemble the jars. Let's get started. I'll put these peppercorns in. Because I don't know how many glasses it'll fill, I'll just do a few at a time. I would hate to mess up some ingredients and then have leftover jars with stuff in it. And here come a couple onion slivers. These little jars seem to be a little ridiculous to even make it worth canning, but you need a whole lot of mushrooms to fill a bigger jar. So each one gets a garlic sliver. And a couple red things. I think this is just for looks. Funnel on, then we'll fish out mushrooms. Mm. 
These guys are supposed to have a half inch head spice. Yeah, let me see if I can show this. Of course, it's the vinegar and the um, oil in there and it'll separate. So this has to be stirred really, really well so that you get the herbs and the brine equally. comes the deep bubbler. Oh, this one fell. I'm not eat that. I think you can use a couple more mushrooms in this one. That one's perfect. This one needs some more brine. And this needs a little bit more brine as well. It's weird to can with oil. To my knowledge, this is the only recipe I can think of where the USDA approves something that has oil in it. But it makes a little bit of a mess. Okay, looks good. Okay, now here, really, really important, because these, this has oil, the tops have to be super clean. There's no other way around it, or these lids will not sit on there. Actually, I think instead of the tattlers, I use some regular lids for these. That way, I can gift some little jars. I always hate gifting the tattler jars. People don't always return them. It's like, that was my reusable lid. Okay, let's grab some lids. So these go in and the other's gonna get filled up and pretty soon we're done. Pot is full. As soon as they're boiled, I will be boiling for 25 minutes. Um, oddly enough, I have mushrooms left over. This was half the amount by weight of mushrooms and in the recipe. And so I made half of the brine but brine's gone so if you use this recipe for mushrooms you might as well prepare yourself that there is the possibility you're running out of this pickling stuff and still have mushrooms left but while they're cooking now for the 25 minutes i'll just throw together some more of this first batch out and then it's waiting on the pings that's the sad part about tattler lids, the reusable ones. They don't have to click, and the click is so satisfying. Plus you can count even when you're somewhere else how many seals. <laughs> Let's investigate one. It looks pretty cool. We have hard water, so it's always has that film on it. Once they're cleaned up, whoo, that was the first one. Once they're cleaned up, they should look really, really nice. And another awesome. All of them are out. I give these a nice wipe down and then in a week or so I let them marinate in there for a little bit. We'll crack one open, see what the texture is and the taste. Those chanterelle stems that I had to cut off, they actually with a little bit of onion and garlic and some of the leftover um, brine I had, fried them up, they look good. I'm thinking together with the bread that's almost done, this will be dinner. I'll put toast the bread slices, put this on, some cheese on top, and yum. It's been two weeks. They look nice. I just popped the top, and now it's time to figure out what they taste like. They look beautiful, like store-bought with the herbs in it. Look at these little buttons. Gorgeous. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm, absolutely delicious. They have, they are not very strong vinegary. They're like a, a very tame pickle. The herbs are great infused and the oil in it just makes it the special marinated mushroom.
It's great. I would do it again anytime.